and welcome my sandworms, how you doing today? It's Chris here and we've got some more Kingdom Rush Frontier Steam version for you home slices. So let's get started. We're on level 2 which is Sandlock Han Hamlet. Before I get there, I'm going to talk about upgrades. It's not that important right now, but later on it probably will be. I like to use Rain of Fire, so we got Rain of Fire over here. And also I like to use Archer, so that's why we got that guy. Oh, so let's get started. I also am using Ulrich. I like to talk about my hero. I like to use Ulrich. He's my favorite hero of all time, and I just absolutely love him. If you guys want to use somebody else, feel free. Just know that you might have to play just a little bit differently. So with any level, you always want to think, you know, how do I want to set up my towers? In this level, you want to think choke point, baby. This is the choke point right here. So strategically thinking, we're thinking freaking bombard tower, man. We can even go for two of these guys if we want. I know, ridiculous. We're also going to go for some sort of um, um, guy to stun them in the range of you know both of my guys. So this should hopefully be the perfect stunning area right here. Perfect killing area right there. So let's go. Just some desert thugs to start off our game. Now we still have $200 left over. What are we going to do with all this stuff? Well, I want one mage tower and then everything else, I think, is going to be... You know what? We're going to get two mage towers. Everything else is going to be archer towers. So it makes it nice and simple to understand exactly what we're going to do. So you guys are probably wondering. You're like, Chris, what, 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 are you, what are you doing over there? I mean, you always talk about how good archer towers are, yet you have zero. Z -z 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 zero archer towers. Well, that's not true. I first of all have two already built, and now I have my incomplete setup all ready to go. It makes me feel good to have my setup and understand exactly how I want to build the rest of my game, because now I'm not going to mess up and accidentally build something wrong. So, that's the way I like to do it. Of course, if you guys are maybe less experienced and you're just not sure where to put things, uh, maybe you don't want to do it this way. But we're just going to build an archer over here. You know, obviously, archer there. We're going to build an archer here. We're going to build an archer there, 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 there. Archers everywhere! I <laughs> know, it just makes it easy, right? So that's going to be our basic setup. And then, of course, we do have to micro, though. Micro is going to be fairly important for this game. I'm also going to do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a really nice rain, rain of fire over here. So we're just going to lock everybody up together and whoop, annihilate quite a few guys, actually. Alright, archer, archer! Get all these archers everywhere. It's kind of awesome, to be honest. And the choke point's still doing pretty good. Um, obviously, these artillery are rocking a lot of these lower-level desert thugs and stuff like that. But once we get these guys coming out, the Dune Raiders, it becomes a little bit different. Not quite as effective anymore. Some of these guys are probably going to end up sneaking through our choke point, which is, of course, sad, but not the end of the world. It still means, you know, we've got other towers back here that are still going to be able to defend. There we go. Still trying to stop all these guys in the choke point. So far, we're still doing a pretty good job. These Dune Raiders are still not even sneaking through. But we've got the next wave ready to send out. But instead of sending out right away, I'm going to wait until I can use my Rain of Fire. Oh, yeah, baby! And now we got Sandhounds coming out, and we're ready for them. And now we got every single one of our towers all ready and set up to go. Shoop da whoop, baby. All right, so at this point, uh, I think the most important thing to do is just wait until we need our reinforcements. Uh, you know, obviously all these wolves, actually, you know what? Choke point. <laughs> They're not getting past this choke point. That is for sure. Obviously, the other artillery. Usually, artillery are not that good against wolves because they're so fast. But if you get a good choke point and you just stop all the guys in their track, um, you can annihilate them pretty darn quickly. All right, so we're already on round this next round. There's more sandhounds coming out, by the way. So at this point, again, we have a bunch of money. What are we gonna do? Well, we need to upgrade our archer towers. So every single archer tower. Is oh, I didn't even build this tower. Oopsie doodles. We're just gonna upgrade every single one of our archer towers to the max. Hmm. Um, I'm getting a lot of gold right now. Ooh, look at this. Perfect rain of fire time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ready to go. And we get a bunch of money for that, so make sure you're spending it. So, I really do like artillery, but I, t I tend to not use it as much as I probably should. Um, I don't know. There's just some times where I'm like, eh, it's probably not going to be that useful. Uh, you know, there's not very many levels where you got really awesome choke points like this, so usually... I try and stray away from it from just a little bit, but um, this level it just could not pass up. So at this point, we got a lot of guys on the screen. Again, we're gonna do a big bunch up, super duper rain of fire. Check this out, guys! Shoop did he, doop did he, whoop did he do, and we take them all down. Oh my god, yes! All right, a few more guys trying to sneak through. We're just gonna keep on upgrading our archer towers. And now we have all of our archer towers max. So what's the next thing on the list? Well, as you can tell. Oh, uh, there's a lot of guys trying to sneak through, so let's stop them. Make sure they do not get through. 
And I think it's about time we're going to upgrade our artillery. Our artillery has been doing an excellent, excellent job this entire day today. These wolves seemingly, you know, sneaking through and doing ridiculous stuff. Really not that bad. There we go. We got one set of these guys. And... Um, we're gonna go for another set in just a second. So here we go, we got a bunch of tips. Let's read them just because we can. So the port, your soldiers with the range towers. Makes sense. Um, new enemy, we've got these sand hounds coming out very fast and can dodge melee attacks. They are fairly difficult to deal with if you don't have a barracks near the back. It doesn't need to be in the very back, but near the back. Here's our second artillery. And we've got a big bunch of these guys we can rain of fire. Whoop, whoop. All right, so again, another fantastic rain of fire. And uh, it's just waiting game now. Um, this is wave eight, so just wait it out. We're done. We're ready to go. If we need to, <laughs> you know, use reinforcements as you need them. Ulrich has been doing a fantastic job, by the way. Have not had to move him. Had not have to do anything with this guy. He just tanked everything and did an excellent job and made us win that game, basically. So that's pretty much it for level two. Obviously, it was pretty simple. Again, we're playing on veteran mode, so. Uh, uh, on veteran mode, we made it look easy, right? At least I hope so. That was my main goal. That's our entire goal, is make it look easy, and then as soon as you guys see that, you're like, wow, I can do this pretty simply as well. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and have a super duper delicious day.